Hi, Poopoos. That's Poo Queen of Cups Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poopoos Tribe. So, this is a love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's just see what the energy is, what's going on with you and your love life or your person that you're dealing with. What well, is in your energy or that you got on your mind? Y'all know what we got to start off with. Good old sage. Let's clear the energy. Okay. That should be enough. So we're going to start off with the wisdom of the oracle. Pull a few cards from here to see what's going on. Universe, spirits, and guys, what messages do you have for Cancer, Summer, Rising, and Venus for love? Someone rising in Venus for love. I'm gonna pull a few from here. So you have a cancer, someone rising in Venus for love. What's going on? Okay. Pull another one. One more, please. Thank you. So we have thinker at the bottom of the deck. So I am going to be reading what they say. Ooh, new life. Y'all got a new life. Exchanging gifts. Oh, and soulmate. So y'all got, ah, I like it. I like it. So let's see what these mean. Okay. Let's start with soulmates. Number 41. I love this. Okay. So we got consider love in the deepest sense, love so powerful that you will never be the same regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds that compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who, who you were meant to be. I ain't going to read all of it because they kind of long and I got a few of them to read. But I do want to finish reading this one because this seems good. I like this. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention for you, for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. So y'all got somebody that's coming in or maybe you guys could already be connected with your soulmate that, hey, you're supposed to be being with, who's, who's showing you who you are. So we got New Life 39. New energy enters old enters old relationships and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness. Ooh. Okay. A vibrancy only encounter when winter gives way gives way to spring. This is time to connect with others and share excitement. Excitement, passion, and hearts full of joy. This card is very I don't know what that word is, yeah. <laughs> With respect to love, the partnerships in all forms. Okay. So, I'm not going to really read 27 because I already kind of know what that is. So, y'all going to be exchange, ex yeah, exchanging gifts with a soulmate that's about to approach you because you're about to have a new life. Which is great. 
but I do want to find out what is the thinker. What is that about? What's going on with the thinker? Just 44. Love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is the time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work. And should others tell you who you are, take them for their word. Now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy no matter what. In this case, the facts are facts. Okay. We're going to set this over here. I love that message. I love this. So, y'all have a soulmate that's coming in that you about to start a new life with. Or if you already talking to somebody, you can be. this could be the person that you connected with already. So, tell me more about the answers. Love me. I'm only going to get a, a few messages. A few cards from here. A few cards from the tarot. The romance angel and the moonology. What's going on for cancer? What message do you have for cancer when it comes to love? Some moon rising and Venus. Some of you guys already could be connecting with a soulmate. We have solitude at the bottom of the deck. We have suffering in silence, firm foundation, and hope. Some of you guys could be connecting with a Leo or a Virgo or a Libra. So, okay, there's somebody that you are, um, that you could be connecting with, or this person. It could be you or your, uh, your person that you had a firm foundation with, or you still do have a firm foundation with, but this relationship is giving them anxiety. But I feel like this person still has hope in this relationship. Some of you guys took some type of break from this person, and now you're just being by yourself right now. All right. Mm, no, y'all don't want to use this deck. Come and use the other one. Y'all know I like to switch it up. So what's going on for cancer and love? Uh-oh. What's going on for cancer and love? Some of you guys, even if it's not exchanging gifts, I feel like you will be exchanging um, just some real special moments with somebody that's coming in or things are going to get better between you and your person. Y'all could like start a new cycle or something. You got the King of Cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Scorpio mainly. Queen of Cups. Mm-hmm. So somebody decided that they wanted to walk away, but you made this person happy. We got the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you took a break. Somebody decided that they need to take a break. <laughs> somebody decided that they need to take a break and focus on yourself. It could have been you. But I feel like this person is coming towards you with another opportunity because I feel like this person, you were this person's wish fulfillment, how would I say Okay. So either you guys um going towards this person with some type of love offer. There was deception here. And it could have been deception with um some type of communication. You could have had some type of uh could have found out some deception. Yeah. So you could have definitely found out that something went on or just the way that you would communicate with this person, it just was y'all wasn't on the same. Yeah, there was a tower moment. But this person is sitting up here spying on you. They're still curious about this union that y'all do have. Some of you guys married to this person or you live with this person. Or this is your twin flame. But this person, I feel like this person want to come back. No, three. Yeah, they love you. 
they love you they know that they left this out in the cold and they put it into this they do love you some of you guys this person is going to continue to walk away let's see now this person want to heal this yeah two of wands reverse if this person haven't been um if they've been distant you're gonna get re you are gonna get clarity or communication from this person you ain't even got a trip you ain't got to worry okay hmm. tell us more of the cancer this person even if you came to this person or communicated this person still didn't either understand where you was coming from or they just wasn't trying to hear what you was trying to talk what you were talking about okay Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So I feel like somebody's going to decide that they want to work it out. And you guys might start a new cycle when it comes to love. It could have been, could, could have been finances. That was the issue with finances and career. And children. Somebody could have. This could be the person that you, that you have children with. Or um, this person just feel like that things were just... Somebody was being childish, like really, really childish. But I see that this this attraction here. Give me one more card. Okay. All right. Passion. Y'all see that that flew, so I'm going to take them. Engagement, soulmate, mm -hmm. and past life relationship. We got soulmate here. So this is the person that either this person is coming in or this is already your soulmate that you're dealing with. And this is somebody from your past life that I feel like now they want to give you some type of commitment. Or they want to work on the relationship that you guys have already. But y'all want to break from each other. So give me advice, adv some advice for Cancer. Someone rising in Venus when it comes to love. Yeah, time for healing. So you guys still need to take just a little bit of time. And I feel like this is going to come through. This is going to come through when it's supposed to come through, okay? Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Yeah. And a new start is coming. They said that already up in here. So with the new moon. So we have new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So I feel like you're going to be getting what you want from this person. There is a new start that's about to approach you. You just be ready to go ahead and experience this. Okay. So that's all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. Go over there to my Instagram. Hit that follow button for me. I would really appreciate it. Other than that, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, poo-poos.